Hello, Jack Crunch Moscow. We are here with Ho Hope Kleinhout, is that right? Hope Kleinhout, yeah, Hope that's Kleinhout, pretty correct. Who, who is representing Coast from Opera. Thank you. And, and since we're a sort of a startup conference, do you have an elevator pitch for Coast? What's yeah. that? So Coast by Opera is a, is a total new way of experiencing the web on your tablet. It's, a, it's a, the first browser that's really been designed for the iPad. It's re very visual and it presents your favorite websites as apps and you can control them with really easy gestures and uh, it's it's a fun way to browse in uh, the internet instead of like a very boring and classical way like we want we want name names of the boring classical browsers but you probably all know them so do, do you think the, the the future of mobile internet is is fun yeah absolutely it's it's a lot about having this great experience and this it's like when you get your mobile device, you get it out of your pocket, out of your bag. It's not just to, to, to do these functional tasks. You want to be entertained. You want to have this great experience, like connect with your friend, have a good feeling. And, and that's what it's all about. That's about this pleasure in your computing environment. Are, are you going to stick to the iPad for a while, or are, is an Android version also in the works somewhere? Um, at, with Coast by Opera, we really focused on the iPad to give, give this perfect optimized experience. So we didn't want to make a, a Swiss army knife, which could do <laughs> anything, but nothing really well. So we focused on the iPad, and it's a really perfect experience. You'll see it immediately if you download and check it out. It's free. Um, but we always look at new opportunities. We look at other devices, new environments. So yeah, we're open for, for new. Android? Anything, <laughs> anything, anything for Possibly. Android? Possibly. We can't yeah? do it because okay, we okay. can't commit okay. until it's actually there. So uh, if, if you were one of the startups here, here at TechCrunch, or any startup in general, and you, you were thinking of doing something in mobile, which, which trends in mobile do you think are the most promising right now? Um, I think it's a lot about focusing on the feature and on the user. That's that's super important to be in close contact with the user, um, and making it possible for users to interact with each other with uh, with their products, and uh, making it possible to share whatever service or content you are developing really mm -hmm. easily and interact. Um, recommendations uh, and giving good content and giving suggestions to the user is really absolutely important in. In, in the internet, if you look how big the internet is, it's incredibly important to deliver the right information. And um, it's learning about other startups, looking what the others are doing well, what works and what doesn't work. And that's why this, this event is so great, because you can actually learn so much about it. Do you think Opera is still a startup, or are you a big grown-up company? <laughs> I think we're both. It's like um, Opera is a really big established company in a way. But uh, what we did with Coast by Opera is that um, I started something in, within Opera and I got all the freedom to do that and no restrictions, no reporting and just these possibilities. And in that sense, this was really startup. So we just we had to do everything ourselves, but we also had all the freedom and all could take all decisions that we wanted. Uh, I, I just recently read an article by one of the American VCs which uh, said that uh, a lot of more modern day mobile startups spend too much time doing the polishing their apps like they spend six months to, to nine months to polish their app and then publish it to the app store do you, do you think uh, you know an, uh, the first release of the app should be ideal I think it should be very very targeted to what really are your core services and what is like the core unique features in your app and that should be very highly polished but you don't need to offer everything. It can be it can be a simple app, it can be a simple experience, as long as what you offer, the basics, are really well. How, how much time did, did it take you to, to get the first version of Coast on the App Store from, from, you know, from inception to publishing? Uh, it took me like uh, almost half a year to, to develop the concept, and I did that mostly in my own time, like as a side project. Mm -hmm. And then it took like one year to actually implement it, develop it, and tune it, and get it in the App Store. Oh, and it was like, uh, when we started at Coast, that was my aim. I thought, like, if it's more than a year, it takes too long. 
and if it's less than a year, it's probably not good enough. So it, it was mm. quite on target. So, you, so, so it, it's good enough for you? Oh, there's always a lot more <laughs> that you want to ah. do. And this, uh, for Coast by Opera, the browser is just a start. It's just sh to show that people that you can have a whole new different way of looking at the internet. And the internet, we've lived with the internet now 20 years, and it has changed so little, the browsing experience. So it's really up, up for disruption. Right, and uh, what, what's your favorite? F favorite app for your iPad? Ah, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's Coast. <laughs> and, and, and you said that in Coast, uh, websites looks like look like apps or mm -hmm. something like that. What, what, what's your favorite app in Coast? My favorite <laughs> app in Coast. Oh, that's also a good question. I uh, I think I um, I use a lot of the social apps a lot. So I use Twitter app a lot and I use the communication apps mm -hmm. a lot, uh, the websites, but also just news. And the greatest thing about the internet is that there's, there's almost a billion websites on the internet. There's just so much content and it's all like just, just one tap away. And that's, that's really the and beauty do, do of Do developers internet. have to do anything special to their websites to make them Coast friendly? No, absolutely not. And that's, that's why we developed Coast and why we think it's, it has a unique advantage that you don't have to make any app with special settings or anything and just any site in the world to work well with Coast. And if you have a great touch website, it will be awesome in Coast. And if you have a basic website, then it will look a bit nicer and a bit more up to date in Coast. That's great. Th th thank you very much. We'll be waiting for your panel here at TechCrunch and I hope one of your favorite apps in Coast will be TechCrunch Moscow. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.